Welcome back to another video. Um, just wanted to do a video on these types of controllers. Oh, you can't see the screen. There we go. Um, so <laughs> I used two of these on the smaller turbines, the two four hundred watts, and um, they're in PPT, and they are in my opinion quite good because I have uh, communication also using the um, <coughs> the serial port uh, on top there which I use on one of these uh, Ethernet server so I can monitor that controller uh, on my laptop wherever I am in the world um, so just to go through some of the settings on this um obviously you have your current charging rate which is not uh super at the moment because it's not that much wind but you also have you can see the wind voltage so you know it's doing MPPT conversion um so obviously that's higher than my battery voltage my battery voltage is 13.2 or 13 and the wind is uh is it this is the 24 volt uh, turbine so it's getting like 16 watts at the moment with 26 volts um so obviously when you do it like this your um the voltage on your to this controller is um it's less than uh, or it's more than um you know than it would be on a like if you had your rectifier directly connected to the to the to the batteries um, so that's the advantage you get less uh, voltage drop and then obviously power loss because of that so these are more efficient than just using a, a rectifier such as this one um, so yeah there's a rectifier built into it um, you can't really see that but um, yeah there's a rectifier built in um, so that's your yeah so that's your battery voltage wind voltage it also tells you rpm um i'm not sure how accurate it is but it's there there's also solar on this but uh, i don't use it but i think it's about it's 100 or 200 watt so you could if you had a small array somewhere you could connect that as well uh that's the total kilowatt i only generated on this one not that much the device temperature no errors so then if we go through the menu over here we have system info um, that you just kind of configure the um, the battery so if I go through the settings here um, low voltage recovery from low voltage your float voltage full voltage and then recovery so when the battery is full, it stop charges. It it dump loads into itself. There's a MOSFETs inside that can dump the load. Um, but when the battery <coughs> comes back down to fourteen volts, it'll start charging again. So that's all that's in there. And we go back. So we have, then we have wind info. Go on here. You can turn off and on the uh, charge. Um, from the turbine you can set the manual brake which is the manual dump load really not re it's not really a brake um, so, uh, let's focus um, so that's uh, that's your brake and what else is here you have cut in volts cut out volts voltage max on this one is 60 volt on that one is actually um, 80 volt it's a newer unit and then the amps max on this one is 30 amps on the other one I just showed you is uh, 35 rotation so if you if the turbine rotates over 1000 rpm you can set that to dump load after that I'm not sure it doesn't really I'm not sure does it actually slow down the turbine or not it might a bit but probably not then you have your poles, <coughs> which is your uh, the opposite uh, 
magnets in the in the turbine. Mine's a, tw a twelve volt, or not twelve volt, twelve pole, but I have it set to twenty four, uh, because of uh, I didn't want to hit the RPM limit too quick. That's your dump load time, so it'll dump for three minutes and then try to come back. And then the MPPT is set to a voltage curve, which I will show you in a second. So that's all that's in there. Solar info, we don't need to go in there. It's just basic stuff. Output load, there's two options for output loads, like two outputs on this, which you can turn on at certain times and stuff like that. And then you have the wind power. So this is where you do the wind curve. So as you can see, uh, I have a wind curve configured and it seems to work fine for my turbine, this 24 volt. Um, so you can keep going up through the steps and you will get oops, the maximum. So I mean, if that, that's what you can ask of the turbine when it gets to 41 volts. It's not going to, I'm not saying that it's going to get there, but that's what you can ask of it. So you can adjust that to uh, basically be whatever you want. And um, it will, you know, it'll, if it's, if the turbine voltage is rising too much, you probably aren't asking en enough at, at the correct voltage. So you might want to increase it. You just have to play around it until you get the, the right um, curve for your turbine. And that just means you have to uh, mess around quite a bit and try different things at different wind speeds and see 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 what happens. So that's um, that's pretty much it through the menu and everything. So yeah, um, they're pretty good. I, I haven't had any trouble with them um, so I do recommend them and I will put a link to uh, the where I got them on AliExpress um, and yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it so yeah if you if you need one this is what I recommend okay like and subscribe thanks bye